In this video, I'm just going to look at how we go about creating chamfers and the effect of um, chamfers. So I'm going to go and recreate this memorial that I call the D. Um, if I go to the shape builder and I'm just going to choose an oval top, I don't really want the base. Um, it's 2319. I'm just going to lock the side tapers so it creates me um, a tapered sides. And I'm going to click OK. That will do me nicely. So first thing I've got to do if we look at this D is I've got to create these triangular shapes on the edges here. So I'm going to do that by just drawing a line. Just get the snap to uh, objects so it actually drags it straight off the corner there. So a line straight up, press the shift key um, and it'll just draw a vertical line up to there. And I'm going to do the same from this side. Straight line just straight up to the edge. Um, and then I'm going to do another line from that corner there, just to meet the edge here. And I'm just going to mirror that across onto the other side using the uh, mirror button there. And I've just mirrored it so it's there. And the final thing to do is to just create a bezier curve. I'll turn off snap to objects. So create a bez uh, snap to objects on. Create a bezier curves from here. Uh, it's going to be somewhere there. I'll do for the moment and then down to that node there and I'm just going to edit that and take it up a little bit so it's a bit closer to the top. Okay you can see the basic structure we've just got these little trailing bits here that I want to get rid of so I'm going to use the uh, virtual segment delete um, and I'm going to just click on that piece there and that piece I'll just zoom in that piece there and you can see it just zips that bit out for me. So we've now got our basic shape that we're going to be working to. So I'm going to fill using the smart fill tool the triangular shape here, um, the piece at the top and the triangular piece at the side. Um, and what that's done is it's created me three objects um, all filled blue because that's just my default colour um, that I can now use to create the effect of the uh, chamfer. So I'm going to fill these pieces white Like that um, and I'm going to set the transparency on them but first off I'm just going to delete the little lines that I created earlier on so there's a few lines gone there get rid of oops get rid of a top line there and that vertical line down there by making sure that I'm not selecting um, outside of the uh, and, and, and any other full objects other than lines, um, it means that it just reduces the risk of those appearing. So I go to the um, transparency tool and I click on the transparency tool and select the objects that I want to make semi transparent. Turn that up to sort of 70 80%. Click on the top one, turn that one up to 74 we want the top one to be slightly lighter oh, it looks like i created an extra layer an, an extra object in there i'll just delete that in a second um, and i'll do the same over on this side set that up to 84 and then we'll go and remove that rogue object if i go to object manager i'll see that the curve there is in blue um, so i can just delete that object there there we go so we've now got our memorial. It's got some chamfers on the sides, or apparent chamfers. If I fill the granite in with a colour from the Memorial Designer toolbar, um, such as the uh, South African grey, you can see that you've got the appearance of chamfers. I made the top piece slightly lighter. I could probably make that slightly lighter still looking at it. Um, and you do that by decreasing the um transparency levels so that now looks like there's a little bit more light falling on the top than is on the sides and that's how we do simple trans uh, simple chamfers there's other videos on how to do bullnose and curved effects